Morning guys. Looks like it's around 22 there this morning. You can see we got four inches of snow. So I'm getting ready to go out and start my truck so I can plow this. Well, you can see it's still flurrying out there. That's not really snowing because it's hardly fallen down. I believe it's blowing off the trees and stuff. But anyway, a um, little bit of snow coming yet. I'm going to still plow. Um, flakes are real big. They never really amount to much. So I finished up a cup of coffee here. Sally's still napping. So I'm going to go ahead and run out and start plowing. It's not as cold as it was yesterday. Yesterday was in the 20s, or I mean in the teens. Today it's in the 20s. Mm -hmm. My neighbor is up here from North Carolina, so I'm just trying to be courteous and plow the snow away from the house. I've angled that direction doesn't have to fool with that when he gets out. But he plows his own driveway now that he has a, a plow truck. Yeah. Well, you can tell the ground is frozen now. It's really hard on the plow when it's this hard. Head over to my uh, neighbor over there, my old buddy, because he doesn't have a good way of getting up to his place. He tells me, Oh, you don't have to plow it, but then I have to drag him out of the snow pits. So I'd rather plow it so I don't have to be fooling around over there, you know, in one of those hurry up and come get me things. Looks like the gas company already plowed this too. The big difference between when the blast gas company plows and the township plows. The township plows one lane up and they get in the same lane and go back down. You don't usually do that great of a job. Looks like, looks like my neighbor already drove up here unless somebody just turned around.
see there's hardly any snow here as far as the piles go. Normally this time of the year there's a pretty big pile of snow here. Looks like you got a load of firewood to cut. They were cutting some more wood down at the gas well and uh, I hadn't gotten involved in that so I didn't ask anybody for anything or to buy it but and most of that is, yeah that's firewood all of it looks pretty rough. But anyway he'll use that. have half of this gone already as far as firewood goes still coming down pretty good that's surprising the other day and this windy weather was blowing a lot of the snow off of clear flat stuff depending upon where it is and then putting it on other places so right here it doesn't look like there's much snow at all maybe two inches but he still he doesn't have really good truck he doesn't have a good tires and great tires and he tends to be a little sloppy driving so it doesn't take much for him to get stuck. The first time I ever met the guy it was, hey buddy can you come and pull me out? And at the time I didn't have anything here except uh, my brand new pickup truck and I wasn't about to pull him out with that. I had told him, no, I can't, you have to call you the, I, I forget what the name is. But anyway, uh, he got out there, 
Then the second time he called me, I had my back home and stuff here well then that was a different story I came and got him he was stuck in the ditch up here wider here. I learned how to snow plow in a small town where I used to live. And uh, the thing about it is most of the people who lived there were working class. You know, they had jobs where they actually knew how to do things. And uh, so when you plowed, like I had a lot of driveways. I think that I had about 60 driveways. And when you plowed their driveway, they wanted to plow it right. They didn't want you goofing up their neighbor or goofing up their driveway. So they wouldn't have a problem calling somebody to say, you didn't do what they wanted or you didn't do this or that. So it kind of teaches you then how to get rid of the snow from the edges of the road like on each side here and a lot of guys don't do that especially what I found out is these people up here they're their their country and they're not bad people it's just that they're not good snow plowers they tend to plow the snow wherever and that's good enough and it's really not good enough but you know it is what it is for them I suppose so I want to push that corner in a little more and then I'm gonna go back up to my place and plow I just like to get this over with so in case something's gonna go wrong with the truck it'll hopefully happen up at my house and not somewhere else. Okay, that's good. See how slow the snow is right now without any wind blowing. What I'm going to do now is plow uh, the other end of my property and then the state forest road down to where the swamp is where I always take the dog. This way here I can turn around and he has a place to get out of the road in case of cars. It's not that you can't jump over four inches of snow it's, or five inches of snow. What it is is uh, he, he tends to stay where there is no snow so he doesn't have to do a lot of jumping. Now up here what I try to do is plow the snow away from my property because I have grass there and there's no sense in plowing all the stones onto the grass and then I'll plow it over into the woods over here. These guys have been doing pretty good. You can see they're, they're only a couple of inches away from the... They're only a couple inches away from the stakes they got here. is if 
they plow real, real close to the stakes or plow the stakes down, what ends up happening is they're throwing all the stones in my grass. And I can't get the stones out, especially these little one bee stones. They're all over the place and then when I plow, or I mean cut the grass, they're flying everywhere. The first year I did it, they had a lot of stones in the grass, but I hadn't said nothing to them about it. And, um, man, the stones were hitting me in the face all over the place. We've had snow here so deep that when the dog jumps off the road onto the snow to go potty, he can't move. He's buried in it. That's funny sometimes. Shut the battery off, and I still got to do it again to put a, or shut the camera off so I can get a battery. So let me get a battery. And there was also a truck behind me. I don't know which plow that driveway there, because I had somebody steal a trailer from me once. So, so I kind of leave the snow in there and let it pile up a little bit. Sometimes I just do it out of habit, but I try not to do it all the time. Sally's already been, da been down to the chickens once this morning. I want to try and plow that before she goes over there again. I just don't want her to fall. And she's outside shoveling. This woman is unbelievable. She's on the other side of the car.
slow switching hands here. It's the slowness is about. Well, I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, our power washing this year. Everything is getting like a gritty green looking film on it around here. we read the Bible in the morning. We didn't get a chance to do that because I thought she was sleeping. But even if she is sleeping, she doesn't sleep very... She sleeps good all night. She doesn't wake up, my wife, usually, except to go to the bathroom. But that's not the problem. The problem is as soon as she hears me, she wakes up. She doesn't want me to be doing anything by myself. And, you know, that should be the other way around. And I keep an eye on her. It's just that... Uh, she does what she wants. This makes it a lot easier for her to walk here. so I can get in front of the car and then I'll move the car. And what I do here where there's not a whole lot of snow is I drive right up to just about touching the garage door and then I lower the plow down and I can pull a lot of that snow back enough where I can grab a hold of it and push it in the other direction. This way there's not too much of it against the, the uh, hoses and stuff that are underneath there. And I gotta watch the ground wire in there so I don't wanna take that with me. goes slow the snow kind of goes with you when you turn the plow so you can get it out of your way but if you go too fast it ends up not doing that it'll stay running off the end of the plow blade and then you're sort of in trouble this is a little bit tight here but I like the way I have this set up I had my other house where we lived before it was a little bigger area and a bigger all the buildings were a little bit bigger but um, it was the same type of setup where everything was off of one driveway I could get into all the different buildings from one driveway which I liked
I'll back up to the garage there, right about there. And then I've gotten pretty much of the snow away from the front here. So if I move her car out of here, then I can plow all the way up to the flag up there. Start her car up. I'll let this run. And then I'll move her car. And you can see most of the snow's out of this area right here. <clears throat> so when I go down here to make a turn, I can uh, let me turn that blade a little. When I go down and make the turn, I can get close to where she shoveled and not make a mess there. <clears throat> One thing having, about having the backhoe, <clears throat> there's this pile that I'm putting in front of me here, in front of this uh, door. Now I don't, I very seldom go in this door. I can go in the other way and reach everything that I need to reach from here, unless I need a lot of it. So I just uh, will use the backhoe to get that pile out of there later or sometime in spring. do is make sure I get up there to the flag. The reason I plow this, they don't want you to have more than one road coming out onto the main road. And whatever the reason is, it's good enough for me. I mean, I really don't care. But this is a lot easier to drive up this way than it is to go up this road here. So if I have this cleared and there's some kind of a major problem of some sort, I can still get in and out of here without really worrying about anything. <clears throat> the pile at the end here <clears throat> um, because uh, unless it snows a lot I'll do something different but I leave this little pile because with a little bit of speed I can get through the pile or just come off to this one side and go out there that's what I can do if I have to to get out of here um, I want to turn around here because it's a it's easier for me to plow going backwards than it is or going back than it is to turn around down there again. Pretty 
close to my sign there. I think I missed it, but I'm not sure. Bit of snow that's right there. I could get the small tractor out and get rid of that. What I'm going to do is go turn around and come back up here one more time and try and clean that up a little closer to where the garden is. There's a set of deer tracks right up there coming down to your one set. Sally one. I thought I saw her in the house, but her shoes aren't in there, and neither is she, so I don't know what's going on here. Looks like the other neighbor was up early this morning. Just turning around the back, back into my parking spot. Just run a little to charge the battery up. And we gotta bring her car over here and then that's it. Only a little bit of snow of shoveling, but not much. It's okay. Must have bumped the lights there. Gotta turn them off or the battery will be dead for sure. 